Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be answering one simple question. What are the four pectoral muscles? So let's get right into it. The first one is pectoralis major, and you can see it here in red. It's the main muscle that you think of when you think of the chest, pec major, pectoralis major. Then there is pectoralis minor. In order to see that, you have to remove pectoralis major, and that's exactly what we've done in this picture here. We, we've removed pectoralis major, and now you can see that there's this muscle under it that is pectoralis minor. And then we have another little muscle, and this muscle is called subclavius. And this muscle, you can see it here, it goes from the first rib to the clavicle, and we'll talk about those details in a later video. Um, but that is the third muscle. And the last muscle, the fourth muscle, is serratus anterior. And you can see it here in red. It has these serrations. When you think about serrations or a serrated knife or serrated blade, you think about a knife that kind of has these little teeth. And that's kind of what you see here. It has that serrated type of a feel. So that's serratus, serratus anterior. So pectoralis major, pectoralis minor, subclavius, and serratus anterior. I just want to give a quick overview of that. So we're going to go into more details in later videos. But before uh, we go into those videos, I want to show you this picture. And what I want you to imagine is, well, not imagine, I'm going to show you here. Uh, let, let's put an O here and an I right here. And that O is going to start for, stand for origin. And this I is going to start stand for insertions. And what I want you to picture, this part you can't see, picture that this rope is attached to some object, which it is. And that object, I don't care what you want it to be. It could be uh, a box. It could be a block. It can be a car if you want, whatever it is. Um, but just imagine that this is attached to that object. What's going to happen when she pulls on this rope, if she's strong enough to move that car? Uh, what's going to happen is that object, whatever that object is, is going to move in the direction towards that point of origin. So it's moving from the insertion point to that point of origin, towards that point of origin. And this is what I want you to picture as we talk about the different muscles and we talk about the origins and the insertions. I want you to picture that when that muscle is contracting, in general, generally speaking, what it's going to do is it's going to move the object at the point of attachment, at the point of insertion, uh, towards the point of origin. That's a simplified view. It gets more complicated than that because it goes at angles and all these different aspects that we need to take into consideration. But in general, that is what I want you to picture. So as we move into those later videos, we're going to talk about the origins of the muscles, the insertions, and the actions. We're not going to talk about the arterial supply and the innervations as yet because we're going to get to those in later videos. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you would like more videos like this and all kinds of other resources to help make biology fun, visit the website at interactive-biology.com. This is Leslie Samuels. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.